Okay, I think the mic is fixed now. All right, guys, today I'm gonna go over what goals should a first year audit associate have? I know maybe some of you are just starting in public accounting, maybe some of you are in your last year of college. I know this is the time, it is It is now September, where a lot of new audit associates are coming in. And today I'm gonna go over really four key or critical goals that any first year audit associate should have. Again, I, I this is for audit people because uh, I'm an audit senior manager in public accounting, but even if you're just starting in public accounting, I think these skills are really transferable into whatever you know specialty you wanna do. So let's go on the first one. Your first goal as an audit associate, no matter what, should be to pass the CPA exam. You need to get through all four parts of the exam your first year. And here's why. Well, not only can you not continue to progress in your career um, at, after a certain point in public accounting, but you want to make sure you pass all four, all four parts of the exam in your first year because after your first year, you tend to get really, really, really or a lot more busy than you were in your first year. In your first years, there's not a huge expectation of you to, you know, take on full on engagements and be, you know, always chargeable every single minute of the day. And I, I feel like the expectation is a little bit less on you than as opposed to your second year or when you become a senior, actually taking on full on engagement. So you need to make sure you pass all four parts of your exam early because you just don't have that much responsibility on your plate at the moment. And this is a key critical time for you to do that. Second kind of main reason why you need to pass a CPA exam is that firms usually provide a really big, I mean, back when I was, uh, back when I graduated college and if you got your exams done within a year of graduating, the firm would give me $3,000. Last I heard now as of 2022, a lot of the big firms are offering their associates, I think like five or six grand if they pass within the first year of starting within the firm. That is freaking, that is awesome. That is mind blowing. Honestly, I mean, I remember when I graduated college, even $3,000 to me was like a million bucks. So that's a really big incentive for you to pass also. And I guess the, the kind of the third reason in between why you should get your CPA exam within the first year year is that trust me when I tell you life just happens you know you as you get older on, on a personal level too maybe you get married maybe you find a significant other maybe you have kids maybe you have whatever else goes on life happens you buy a rental property other things happen in your life that take a lot more of your time and it's a lot easier when you know you're coming out fresh out of college you're still you know in your early 20s or whatever typically um, or maybe you who cares if you started even outside of your 20s doesn't matter I'm just saying that Typically, when you get out of college your first year, for the most part, people don't have as many personal responsibilities. I, I, for example, did not. I you know, was 22, 23 years old when I graduated college and I really had nothing else to do other than work and, and study for the exam. And that was a really big blessing to my life because I was able to de dedicate myself fully to that. But I can see now that I'm a little older, I'm, I'm 30 now, uh, and that I'm a little older and I do feel like, you know, people that around my age now, you know, start having kids, get married and other responsibilities happen. And that's just, that's just part of life. And I feel like when you graduate, you have a lot more time allotted to you to be able to study and, and work and really dedicate yourself. So the, the more you wait and, and the more you put off the exam, the more life happens and the easier it's going to be to be able to make, not necessarily an excuse, but just say something else is more important at the moment. So you want to make sure you pass your exams as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Second thing you need to do in your first year as, as, as a goal for any first year audit associate, you need to learn Excel. I, I know you I, I know I'm so super redundant when I hold on this little message just came up. Okay. I know I'm super redundant when I say this, but learning Excel is such a critical tool for you. And again, these skills are all very transferable and learning Excel is going to make you so much more powerful in your position, so much more knowledgeable in being able and being in doing what you do. You're going to become a lot more efficient and work is just going to become a lot more enjoyable. And you're able to do certain things and analyze certain data because you know, all the hockeys, because you're watching this channel because of a bunch of different things. So you want to make sure you get your Excel skills as good as possible your first year. Uh, and the third thing, the third main goal you should have is learn the basics of your craft. Obviously I'm coming this from an audit standpoint. So I would say learn the basics such as, I don't know, learning how to read a trial balance, learning the basics of debits and credits, learning the basics of your craft are going to be able to help you maybe parlay those into something else. If maybe, you know, audit isn't your long-term goal or something you want to do long-term, you always want to make sure that you get the best bang for your buck in whatever position you're doing. And that's going to be building skills that are transferable to anything else. So like for I said, for example, if you were a first year audit associate, I'd say 
Learn how to analyze a trial balance. Learn how to look at AR aging. Look how to um, review AP. Look at inventory listings. Being able to analyze these things and being able to build those skills and a basic fundamental understanding of debits on the left, credits on the right, you're able to take those skills and hopefully build upon them and continue your audit or career in public accounting or maybe you know in the back of your head, maybe, you know, audit's cool, but maybe it's not for me long term and that's perfectly fine. Not everyone is crazy like me and wants to do it forever, but you always want to make sure that you're building skills that are transferable and basic financial un un understanding and analysis and debits and credits. You can take those wherever else you go. Last fourth thing that you need to have as a goal your first year, you need to build your social skills. I cannot stress this enough. Building your social skills is such a critical tool. I don't care if you're an introvert. I don't care if you're maybe an extrovert. Whatever you identify as, whatever you want to call yourself, it doesn't matter. You need to build your social skills. Even people that don't do sales, eventually everything becomes sales. Whether you own your own business, whether you're trying to get new clients, whether you're selling yourself internally within the firm or within the company you're at to that next position or you know even when you're giving a presentation everything is sales everything is sales and building your social skills i i think the really easiest way to do that especially in public accounting is you know, usually firms put on a lot of social events. You need to be attending those. Not so much for, you know, the free food or the free alcohol, whatever. It's just to get yourself out of your shell and learn how to have conversations with people. Learn how to learn how to talk more than you speak. Learn how to listen to people. That skill within itself is so critical. And one thing that has really carried me throughout my own professional career. So getting your social skills right and learning these things is so critical. And again, I want you to notice how Every single thing I mentioned in this video, number one, pass your CPA exam. Number two, learn Excel. Number three, learn the basics of your craft. And the last one, social skills. These four skills, I don't care if you own your own business, you go into entrepreneurship, you stay in public accounting, you become a partner, you go to another company and you start doing finance or accounting or whatever. These four skills are transferable into any realm or endeavor you choose to do. So doing these four things will make sure not only that you continue to progress at the, at the firm, but you can also utilize these skills to continue to build them and build a life for yourself in a future that you're going to be very, very, very happy with. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. If you found value in this video, please make sure to smash the like button below for the YouTube algorithm. Until next time, work hard, dress well. Peace.